Hello everybody and welcome back to the Literal Gamer 81 channel. Today I am going to be showing you how you can use your Wii remote on CEMU emulator. So let's get started. So all you will need for this is your Wii remote and a PC to do this on. So, so the first step, you want to go to touchmode.net, which I'll leave a link in the description, and you want to click, you want to click download touchmode if your system is 64. Well, it has to be for 64 bit because CMU doesn't work on 32 bit. So click on the 64 bit one, and it should take a while to load, but eventually it's gonna start the download. So click, so click on it. Click yes on the pop-up, click I accept the agreement, then click next, click next again, click yes, click next, then just click next. If you want, you can create a desktop shortcut, click next, then click install. Okay, and once this shows up, just click yes. And once that's done, click finish. Now click type here to search and search for and search for touch mode. And it's right here. So click open. Click yes. Click pair Wii rem remotes. Now what you want to do is on your Wii Remote, press 1 or 2 at the same time, like this. Or, you can open up the back of the remote. So you can open up the back of the remote like this. And hold down the sync button right here, that's this red one. Oh, it's pairing. And now my Wii Remote is paired, as you can see. Oh. So as you can see right here, my Wii Remote is now paired. And on the controller is also paired. So now the computer it'll either it'll either recognize it as a Wii remote or as an Xbox 360 controller. As you can see, because of that, it, it, it recognizes it as an Xbox controller. So now that we set this up, you want to go to CEMU. So let's see. Yeah, let's see. Uh click open. Then click options, uh, gen, yeah, input settings, and then here you can do this on another controller, emulator controller, your remote, controller API, your remote, and then it's gonna search for your remote, your remotes, click Wii mode, and that wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry. I mean, the last time I did this, it worked perfectly fine. I'm having some technical difficulties right now. Sorry. Your remote. Okay, there we go. Uh, hold up, guys. I'm having some technical difficulties. I'll be back. Right okay, so what you have to do? Yeah, you actually have to. Close the touch mode window, and then your controller it should like go like this. And now here it'll show up as a as a Wii remote. So now you can you could like put the inputs. So I'm just gonna put the default inputs. So A B one two plus minus home up down left. Oh wait no. Wait. Hold up. Down. Okay. Left. Right. And then you want to. And then if you have an unchuck, you want to click on unchuck. And then you want to connect it to your Wii remote. So here, connect it. My nunchuck. Now, now click. Now click on nunchuck. And now you can put in your inputs for the nunchuck. 
now that once that's done, put in a profile name. So I'm just gonna put remote. Then once you've done that, just click save. Now you can close out of that. Now to test this out, I think I'm gonna go to 3D World. So. Okay, start the game, and my save file is in there. Oh well. So as you can see, it recognizes the inputs. I think I'm gonna go with Mario. And I th think I'm just yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave it here. Okay, so. So I'm gonna mute my mic and I'm just gonna leave this play for the gameplay. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help out a lot. And now I'll just leave you here so that you can enjoy the gameplay and see that this controller actually works.
Oh, 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 oh,